Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we're gonna look at what is Power BI? It's coming up. If it's your first time finding Guy in a Cube, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Patrick and I have been to lots of conferences, we talk with customers all the time, and one question we tend to get sometimes when people haven't been really introduced to Power BI is they see all the cool stuff that Power BI has to offer, but they don't really know what it is or like, where do I even get started? So I wanted to talk about what Power BI is in this video to help those that may not know. And really what it comes down to is Power BI is a visualization tool to help you create stunning reports and dashboards to help you gain insights into your business and really to help you make business decisions. We all make decisions every day and some people make bad decisions. But what we want to do is make the right business decisions and Power BI can really help you do that. And in order to make the right visualizations to make those business decisions, we need data. Not that data, we need business data. And business data can come from all over. It can come from Excel files. Remember the old Excel hell? Yeah, it still exists. So you may have Excel files scattered all about. You may have a centralized data warehouse that you can pull data from. You may have unstructured data. Maybe you're taking advantage of Cosmos DB or you've got some blogs or videos or maybe there's images out there that you need to go catalog. Data can come from all types of places. The whole mantra of Power BI is that you can connect to that data regardless of what it is and pull that data into Power BI to visualize items on top of it. Power BI is actually broken up into a couple of different pieces and it's good to understand what these components are. The first is Power BI Desktop. I did a video not too long ago about how to get up to speed with Power BI Desktop in five easy steps. So you can go check out that video if you haven't looked at it yet. You can also download Power BI Desktop for free at powerbi.com. So that's right, it's free. You can just start using Power BI today with no cost and get up and running, kick the tires a little bit and see what it can do for you in terms of working with data and creating those visualizations. Then we have the Power BI service. This is a cloud service in the Microsoft cloud offerings. And really the point of the service is to really drive and enable sharing and collaboration. So this is an, a concept either within your organization or outside of your organization. You can have groups of people and share those dashboards reports out to who needs to see it and allow it to be relevant to those folks. We also offer the Power BI mobile app. So this lets you do things on your phone, your tablet, other types of devices where you may not be at your desktop and you wanna be able to see those reports and dashboards and also allows you to do things like annotation and setting alerts, things of that nature. So you can do that right from your phone. You may have also heard about Power BI Premium. This is an addition onto our Power BI Pro offering. And really this is for large enterprises. This allows you to do all sorts of things that may enable you to work on larger data sets and also offer some additional features inside of the service. So that's available for you as well. Okay, so now that we know what Power BI is, what's the average flow for someone that's using Power BI? The very first thing you have to do is you have to get some data, right? And then create those visualizations on top of the data. And where do you start to do that? You can do that with Power BI Desktop. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get Power BI Desktop and use that to pull in your data, create your report, and visualize your data. There are ways that you can do this inside of the Power BI service, but if you just wanna do this on your desktop and do it for free, you can just use Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop will offer the most functionality for you. Once you've created that report, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is publish that to the Power BI service. So you're gonna take that report that you created on your desktop, you're gonna publish that into the cloud and it will be inside of the Power BI service. This may or may not mean that your data is going to the cloud. So there's different ways that you can handle data and you can refer to the documentation in terms of what those differences are. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but you can publish that report to the service. At that point, you can create dashboards inside of the service as well. So dashboards can be a collection of items or visualizations from different reports that you've created. So these could be reports against maybe some, you know, data that's in SQL Server. It could be data that's in 
Oracle, it could be data from Salesforce. And all these different reports, you may have these in your organization, you can combine those into a single dashboard to gain insights from. Now that you've created your dashboard, you've published your report to the Power BI service, the next thing is sharing and collaboration. So you can share those reports and dashboards with people either inside of your organization or external to your organization. You can also share those reports with folks that maybe just have a Gmail address or Hotmail or Outlook.com. They may not have an actual organizational email to share to, so you can do that now. And it's as easy as that. We just create our reports inside of Power BI Desktop, publish them to the service, and then share it out to the folks that need to know the information. To get started, all you have to do is head over to PowerBI.com. There you can download Power BI Desktop for free, and you can also sign up for the Power BI Cloud service for free as well, and give it a try. I'll also have a link down in the description below to the Power BI blog where you can stay up to date on a lot of the announcements that we're making on the product and see what's coming. All right, what do you think? Did this help you understand what Power BI is? If you have more questions about what it is, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and we will go ahead and answer that for you. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button or smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And as always from both of us, thanks so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.